before we begin this video, if you're interested in my streams, I have recently started streaming quite a fair bit over on Twitch. So go ahead and check that out via a link in the description at twitch.tv forward slash fishy e. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Due to my endless number of videos on the various mysteries, stories and adventures to be had in Red Dead Redemption 2, many people have asked me to direct my focus back to the original game, to the mysteries found back in the 2010 title. Until recently, doing this was unfeasible. I didn't have access to an Xbox 360 or PS3 and PS Now on PS4 wouldn't have been ideal, and I didn't own the Xbox One. However, now that I've acquired an Xbox Series S, we can delve back into the backwards compatibility on the platform and enjoy Red Dead Redemption and explore the mysteries left behind by this glorious game. Many have been solved and disproved. Is there a werewolf in tall trees? Is there f some mysteries have since been expanded on in two, such as The Strange Man, most notably. But even still, this 11-year-old game is rich with lore, stories and secrets for the player to find. And now that we can explore them, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. And if applicable, we'll be able to use Red Dead Redemption 2 to possibly expand on these mysteries in ways that wouldn't have been possible back in 2010. And so I thought, what better place to start than a mystery that has baffled players since the game's launch? The unnamed mystery site at Repentance Rock. Repentance Rock shouldn't be too difficult to locate, due to its close proximity to Rio Bravo and Benedict Pass. The mystery site in question is located located just a short distance south of Repentance Rock itself. There is a marked crude loop around a clearing, we want to be approximately at the centre of this. It's a tiny site, easily missed for those not looking specifically for it. You can't even tell there's anything here at all until you're right on top of it, and even then you have to focus to see the significance of this spot. You will find what appears to be a deer pelt with carvings on it, surrounded by a configuration of other objects with carvings that appear to be pointing in the directions of north east, south and west. It is a little difficult to make out what these carvings are of, at least without serious closer inspection, and there is nothing at this site that the player can actually interact with. On occasion you may come across travellers with a camp set up right here, but they don't seem to pay the mystery site right next to them any mind, nor mention it in any dialogue. You can also visit this location in Red Dead Redemption 2, which is set four years beforehand in the epilogue, however you will not find the mystery site here, which means that it was likely placed here between 1907 and 1911. Interestingly enough though, you can find the ancient skeleton of what appears to be a whale, just a touch south of where the mystery site will be. Of course, by 1911 this is gone, and all we can find is the mystery site. The symbols found seem to resemble those found in paganism or shamanistic cultures, it is also possible that there could be some Native American symbolism here as well. Of course, the significance of this site would be wrapped up in the meaning of these symbols, and as you can imagine, finding the meaning of these symbols is the subject of many a Reddit post. And this Reddit post by user X the Hate Tank X has been perhaps the most useful resource for this entire mystery, not necessarily just what the symbols mean. In fact, it helps me even figure out what some of the symbols are supposed to depict at all, as you can't really get the camera too close to them, and thus I couldn't figure out what half of them even were supposed to be. My horse even came along to try to figure it out, and he was not successful either. I did have to kill him because I worried he became sentient, but don't worry, I skinned him. The first symbol of note is on the plate in front of the deer skin, which depicts a man with a shield. What's on this plate seems similar to the cave paintings found in a secret cave in Red Dead Redemption 2. This cave is located in the West Grizzlies, northwest of Strawberry, and while I wouldn't argue it's a 100% match, it is interesting what you find here. A man who claims to want to be the devil. I'm the devil. I'm the devil. I'm the devil. I'm not the devil, but I want to be. I want to be. And that's even worse. You horrible. Furthermore, if you notice the carving on the plate, the entity depicted appears to have horns. Maybe it could be a depiction of the devil. That being said, that carving and the paintings in this cave are not a 100% match, so maybe this connection is clutching at straws, but I just don't know. You can find similar paintings on rocks near Mount Shan, but the only real concrete similarity here is that they're all depicting humanoids. Though these rock paintings are related to the Mount Shan mystery and, well, aliens. And, well, maybe we're just getting a touch ahead of ourselves for now. On the pelt there are four symbols, a sun, a bear paw, a triangle, and a circle with a cross on it and four dots. 
First we have the sun, which is a sun, I guess it depicts the sky, which is at the north. At the south, we appear to have a Native American symbol, which means the earth. As the circle symbols both represent the cycle of the seasons, the cycle of life to death to rebirth, and the four elements, at least according to my googling. As for the bear paw, it could represent courage or leadership, though the other two symbols we've gone over appear to depict the earth and sky, so maybe this could be a reference to a name, such as the Grizzlies, which is the mountain range where Mount Shan is found, a name likely earned by its population of bears. But do you think they had the Grizzlies thought out when they made Red Dead Redemption 1? If that's not the case, we could be completely barking up the wrong tree here, but when life gives you lemons, right? The final symbol is a triangle, which the Reddit post that I mentioned before believes is a mountain, or at least the peak of one. I guess this makes a bit of sense with the Earth symbol and then this carving of what appears to be the devil below it when we found the devil hermit guy in a cave which is technically underground, beneath the Earth. And of course the biblical location of hell is also beneath the Earth, so maybe this is the underground. And so this faint triangle possibly meaning a mountain is quite logical. So the mystery site at Repentance Rock could be a shrine or it could be a map, though due to the lack of geographical detail, if I were to put my money on either, it will be a shrine. And I suppose people have drawn a connection to Mount Shan, and whether or not the dots adding up are intentional, I suppose we'll never know the truth. If you didn't stupidly shoot them away like I did, there are also three stones with carvings on them as well. I won't beat around the bush with Waffle, because I have no clue what these drawings could mean. On top of that, they're very difficult to get a clear look at while in the game anyway. Two of them are clearly depicting people or humanoids of some capacity participating in maybe some everyday activity or a ritual or something. Whereas this third one, I'm not entirely sure what it's trying to depict to begin with. At first, I thought maybe a rock of some sort, but it looks like there's an altar in front of it. You may also notice that the pelt is being held down by blue stones. I found a comment somewhere that suggested this could be lapis lazuli, which is a spiritual stone that when worn is believed to give people a psychic connection to spiritual guides. So if this location is a shrine, it would make sense for these little stones to be here. It would also make sense were this a makeshift map of some sort. The plate at the mysterious site, commonly referenced as the Guardian Plate, is based on real-life rock paintings found at McKee Spring, Utah, and the rock art found near Mount Shan appears to be based on the art found at Sego Canyon, Utah, and the Holy Ghosts at Horseshoe Canyon, also in Utah. I find it interesting that the inspiration for all these petroglyphs are from the same state. Maybe there is a connection between the mystery site at Repentance Rock and Mount Shan after all, so maybe it is all about the aliens. Or maybe there's some other explanation that's continuing to evade us. As for the whale bones you'll find here in Red Dead Redemption 2 instead of the mysterious site, I don't think that's of any significance. Finding the remains of ancient whales in deserts is not unheard of, so as far as easter eggs are concerned it can be pretty standard alone. And that leaves us without any leads to tug on with Repentance Rock's mystery site. This is a mystery that has baffled players since 2010, so I was under no illusion that I'd be able to solve it on my ones. And even with the amazing resource of Google, I still can't figure this one out. At least not fully, that being said, I will still link every single source that I used down in the description. Surely there's someone out there who knows the answer to this puzzle. If you have a theory, be sure to let me know down in the comments section. Regardless of whether or not you think this has something to do with the Mount Shan mystery, or if it's its own thing, get talking about it, it's good fun. But that's where we're going to leave this video, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that'll be super fantastic, and be sure to let me know which Red Dead 1 mystery you'd like to see me cover next. With any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point, but until next time, take care and goodbye.